There's a certain tool that makes this job a lot easier when it comes to getting the screws out. You can see there's a fair amount of rust and it's really stuck on there. Hello Civic fans, today I've got a special present for you. Especially those that live in the rust belt and areas where they salt the roads. I'm going to show you how to get a brake rotor off when they're really stuck. So here we have a Honda Civic brake rotor. There's a certain tool that makes this job a lot easier when it comes to getting the screws out. You can see there's a fair amount of rust and it's really stuck on there. So in order to get the brake rotor off, what I use is an impact screwdriver. And if you've been in the trade, you know what this is. But if not, this is a life-saving bit of information. So the way this works is that when you push down on it and then twist counterclockwise, it'll loosen. And if you go clockwise, it'll tighten with each impact of the hammer. It does not hurt at all before you begin on this to hit it with some penetrating oil. In fact, let's do that now. So I hit it in the middle across here. This is the most critical is where it meets the hub. And then I'd hit in your screw holes. We're going to be using those here in just a second. And then, of course, around the screws that we're trying to get. And you've got a little access where each of these wheel studs are, so why not? With most stuck brake rotors, what I'll do is I'll just slap them with the hammer. I'll hit them right here and it'll work it free. Now, of course, these have screws in them, so that's not going to work, so we'll do that first. So first things first, spray it with some lubricant. The second thing you want to do is get your driver in there. And the whole time I'm doing this, I'm pushing against the screw and then I'm also twisting counterclockwise just a little bit. Don't be shy about really slapping that hard with the hammer. It makes all the difference. You'll notice that it also has a 3 8 drive adapter to it. You can do this with sockets too. Seems like once the first one goes, the second one's not long behind. How much of our lubricant got in there? Well, where it counts on the tapered section, we got it pretty good. So the main rust areas that we have to deal with now are this hub around here and then the plate you know where it mates up with the hub assembly. So what I'll do is I'll try to slap it. It's a good idea to take a couple of lug nuts and put them on each side of where you're going to be hitting it. And that way it'll deflect without damaging the threads. The threads are where the metal's the thinnest, they're vulnerable, and it's important that they stay clean or else your nut won't work well. So you can hit it like this. And if that doesn't work, and of course it's not working in this case, you can use these threaded holes. They're M8, which means they're an 8mm bolt, and the thread pattern is 1.25 threads per millimeter. In my hand I've got a couple of sacrificial bolts. You can see that they're kind of a coarse thread. If you compare that with the caliper ones, the caliper ones are 8 by one and they won't work. Don't even try it. So it's really important that you get them straight. There's a bunch of rust in there, so don't expect them to start by hand. But if you start them crooked, you just really put yourself up Poop Creek, paddleless. So don't expect anything to happen at first, but then once you go to put it in a little bit, it'll start to push against the hub and pull the rotor away. Expect popping, wear eye protection. You hear the popping? What it's doing is breaking the rust bond that's all around there. You can see this side's starting to stand off a little bit. So I'm going to push on it. And it's still taking some drag because we're dragging all the rust off of that hub. Let's work it back and forth. Not all rotors have these. On the ones that do, you'll be glad that they do. All right. This is one reason why I'll save a bunch of these parts off of things that I tear down. Say I've got an old transmission that's going to go to the junkyard or the scrap pile. I'll strip the bolts out of it and then I have stuff like this when I need it. 
So that's how to pull a struck rotor. Uh, before this goes back on, it's really important to clean this surface right here. You can see a lot of that. This has already been dredged off, but you just want to go through. If you get some emery cloth or a Brillo pad or something, or scotch Sprite pad, it'll help to clean that up. Look how well our penetrating oil got in there, that penetrating catalyst that I was using.